Hello and welcome back to Puddin's Junkyard Adventures because that seems to be all we can do here lately. You ain't more disappointed than me though. Uh, I'm ready to drive the thing too guys. We got back from vacation. Uh, it took me a day to clean up around here. Everything was a wreck. I got it organized uh, but it was yesterday. Yesterday I had to go get <laughs> a little testosterone pellet put in my butt and if you don't want to hear about my butt you may not enjoy this part i have no experience having anything inserted into my butt okay so this testosterone thing i don't know why i made this up in my own mind they said it was a testosterone pellet i didn't know it was pellets with an s on the end i thought they were going to use like a needle thing they put something in you like the size of a grain of rice but come to find out that was not true that, 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 that's not what happened. They cut me open. That's right, they, they, they cut you open. Come to find out, I don't have any fat on my butt. That was her, uh, she pinching around. She said, you ain't got no fat, we're going into muscle. I said, oh boy, good, I guess. She showed me this little pellets with the S on the end, 10 of them. They're about, they're at least an eighth inch round. These suckers had to be probably nine sixteenths of an inch long, roughly. And they shoved 10 of them into your butt tocks and then they banded you all back up and everything. And she's like, uh, no kneeling, no getting up and down and anything like that. Your butt's gotta heal up. Well, my plan was to leave there and come here yesterday and crawl in and out underneath that thing, finishing up the transmission, finishing up bleeding brakes, uh, which on a new build that could turn into a fiasco. We don't know if they're gonna leak any. Anyways, uh, we probably need to get up and down underneath this thing, especially if we put on the front bumper, at least 12,000 times. You are not supposed to do that because if you rip open your cut, guess what? Them pellets, patoon, patoon, patoon. They start flying back out of your butt. You'll shoot them right out. And also, uh, you could get stuff infected, which crawling up and down. Anyhow, I've I've pushed my luck before. Uh, one time I nicked a, here, here's a little random story for you. I nicked a knuckle with a drill bit. Uh, it wasn't the prettiest thing ever, but I ignored it. Oh, it ain't no big deal, whatever, you know? And I worked and I worked. And uh, it got a little nasty looking for a second, and then I thought it was going away. And then like two weeks later, one night, I looked in my hand, and I was like, boy, that sucker looks a little swollen. Where I nicked it, it almost looked healed up. Well, that next morning when I woke up, I had the hamburger helper glove as a hand. That thing was plumb swollen up. Uh, it put me out of commission for a couple weeks. Uh, basically, I gotta take care of my butt where I can be ready to work next week because if I risk messing it up, it could put me down longer and I gotta be smart about it. Now, I don't claim to be smart about a lot of stuff, but I do think this is the smart decision. And plus, uh, man, I don't know if it's cause muscle, cause I just got them good old glutes of steel. I was gonna flex them, but I can't flex it because I may shoot a pellet out. So I gotta be careful. But my ass hurts, that's the, it hurts. I probably need to be sitting down icing it. It's what I've been doing for over 24 hours now. Uh, come to find out, my Ashley, my wife, she just told me, she was like, you were sleeping so hard. She's like, I rolled over and she's like, I kicked you right on it on accident. And she said, you yapped and flopped and you know, she could tell that hurt me. And I'm like, but as soon as I woke up this morning, she's like, ice your butt, ice your butt. I thought she cared about me. No, she was trying to cover it up because she had tried to kick my butt cheek clean off. She's probably trying to get them pellets out of me before they kick in. <laughs> we ain't gonna go there. Uh, anyhow, I'm hoping this gets my energy levels up. Uh, how sore is the hiney? I'll give you an example. I want to put on my overalls. Uh, because I wanted long britches on in case there's ticks or anything like that, tall grass. I put my bibs on and I brought them straps over the top to, you know, to give that little support. And as soon as I click that baby on this side and it whoop, put that up on my glute of steel, uh, that hurt. So I was like, good gracious, I can't even wear my bibs without it hurting my hiney. Got me a cute little bag. <laughs> my wife got me set up with a water here. Today we're gonna take the tow roller. 
Whew, and it is toasty in here. Hotter than the devil's armpit. Well, Oklahoma got hot quick this year. Now, I've heard of this spot. I don't know where it's at. I'm following the gentleman. Uh, Y'all will meet him, I'm sure. Uh, I've heard of this spot. In fact, the lady had stopped by my place six, seven years ago when I first moved into that spot, told me she had cars. And I've heard it from every, I don't wanna say every car person, but over the last few years, here or there, occasional person has mentioned this place. So I, I don't, I don't think she sells a lot out of it. I think she's kind of interested in selling the whole thing one shot, except the gentleman in front of us, Zach, he managed to buy something off of her and he's gonna pick it up today. So I didn't even know that he was gonna, I was coming out here with him, but we get to see whatever he's snatching up today. A little extra bonus. We're getting out here where we're gonna start hearing the banjos start to play, you know what I mean? Ding, 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 ding out here in the wild country. So I reckon we've made it here. I think he's gonna have to go through this gate. Now I've never been here and I don't come this way a lot, but I have driven by this place a few times. I don't know, I'm gonna pull up right here and then he can get me situated on what's going on. Damn, not the poor T-bone to Nissan. You poor old thing, you. Got the Datsun sticker on the tailgate. Right there she be, last tagged in 2016. She was just recently T-boned, not that long ago. Looks like it was a pretty decent truck before that happened. We're kind of pulling up in here. And this is Zach, by the way. I hope you're comfortable on camera. Oh yeah. You get to be on camera. <laughs> I see a box truck. Y'all know that's catching my eye. Uh, any uplander we can shove out the way with the old push tire up front. Uh, how many cars you think's in here? Any idea? A couple hundred and they're just scattered all over. And this is one of two properties she's got a farm too that's they're just loaded up um her and her husband had dreams of doing something with this and they just those dreams never came to fruition so now this stuff is just sitting here there's the old bobcat some old john deers it's just a old iron pit here and it's a perfect little play place for this tow roller <laughs> where we can just drive on through we're gonna get back here towards the pickup that he's after but we'll do some walking around and check out some of this stuff look at all the steel wheels on the rack Alice Chalmers tractor, all kinds of goodies. Well, you do got a path around here. Yeah, I, I mowed this fresh yesterday. <laughs> got two passes with the mower, and the pulley on the deck broke, and that was it. But we made some progress. Oh, look at the old burn up dancing. <laughs> yeah, fire came through here at some point. Melba will know more, but yeah, fire swept through here. And that's, boy, that's the ultimate patina right there. <laughs> that, that's patiner, that gets the ER. That's what I'm fetching, that 57 Ford. This, this is yours? Window. Yeah. Sweet, let's check it out. Where was it at? Oh, let's see, we got to walk up here a little bit. Oh, pretty far up here? Yeah. So you just been coming out here doing some free landscaping. <laughs> you can kind of see my path. I got an 07 FJ that, man, I'm, I make it work, and it's pulled a lot of trucks, kind of like stuck teeth, and it just... This one required all those tires over there were right here yesterday. So we got all those moved, and yeah, that old Ford was... Oh, yeah. You can tell where it had been sitting for a while. Yeah, that's that old tooth sitting there. So when they're buried, I try to jack them up and get a couple of these wide 2x12s under the tire. And then usually they just come on out. Yank them out of there. She she used to belong to the cedar tree. <laughs> but now it belongs to Zach. I felt bad as I was cutting the cedar tree. It felt like it was bleeding. I felt <laughs> like I was really taking something away from it. Is that a five lug Ford? A uh, six lug split rim. We don't need no split rims around here. <laughs> I think this stuff was maybe didn't get the fire because it seems to have paint still. Yep. Get that sucker on and get us a bottle of water. And we'll be good to go. We get his wrecker stuck. Well, luckily the tow roll is here. We'll yank him right out. No problem. So here's what he's after. She's got a pretty good patainer look to it. This is the old fetch mobile. The fetch mobile. Hey, this thing white, is clean. White lightning. White lightning. <laughs> Do you fasten your seat belt? Yeah, safety first. Man, it's clean. Old power stroke. Yep. Vintage 90s. This was, I was uh, 11 years old. I can remember, <laughs> this is a funny story. The guy who lived up the street from me was a rich lawyer and he always drove the latest and greatest Ford diesel trucks. And my dad gets so pissed because they were so loud going by. Yeah. And he had a white crew cab and it was loud, but it was damn near identical to this. So. Well, this thing's clean. And you put it to work. 
the old truck guy he is on instagram right yep just instagram that's all i'm at for now i really just do it as a hobby but it seems to be coming more and more full time yeah y'all can check out his instagram he comes across all kinds of cool stuff i've i've been seeing his stuff for the last year or so and we've kind of chit chat here or there so we've been trying to get together due to my sore butt situation and his timing of buying this truck today was a good day for us to get together i think we need to get us a wrecker uh so what zach does is he finds stuff like this and he flips them he finds them uh finds them a home afterwards uh i would like to start a channel like that or the purpose is just locating some of this stuff where we could put it up for sale to help find people projects make a little money doing it make some cool content doing it uh so maybe i don't know probably maybe next year or the end of this year we could look at doing something like that the old leaf blower <laughs> you know knock the rat turds off of it i've done enough of these now that it started just with by hand that, that's expediting the process yeah take yeah, a stick you... loosen it up blow it stick loosen it up we already started the process a little bit oh yeah she is plumb full of rats nest ain't she when you have a look inside without rolling down the window she don't look too rusted out or nothing if someone wanted the patina shop truck look uh this is definitely she's got a good look to it i can smell cedar and that's uh cedar's one of my favorite smells ever i love it i haven't opened the hood i honestly don't even know i haven't touched it haven't touched the hood yet we're gonna pop the hood together for the first time. This is a big moment. But I opened one of these out here and a couple raccoons smiled at me, so I'm always a little. V8. Oh yeah. Hey, not bad. She is not too ratty either. We've got a little bit of the tree on her. She's she's pretty well there, missing the radiator. But everything motor motor side looks complete. Water pump spins. Well, yeah, water pump does spin, <laughs> if you guys are curious. Spinning water pump would be a 272 probably i'm not a uh, i'm not a ford guy so i can't tell you uh i was not expecting to see two master cylinders on the firewall though i wouldn't guess we had a hydraulic clutch of course i don't know a lot about these old firds i know she's a f-150 just ask the hood i know she's a v8 just ask the grill and i know she's a custom cab just ask the door and I know you're going to be pushing it. Just ask the tailgate. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no more Ford jokes. That this was it. the custom steering partner we had rigged up. Yeah, that'll keep her from going wherever. You got that professional grade. I got like the $89 one from Lowe's. When you reach a certain age, your mom buys you this as a Father's Day present. There you go. <laughs> what do you want? I want that steel but she, 350 She wanted you to be taking care of the yard, not taking care of rat's nest. Runs like a champ. There you go. Probably have to do the poke around and then the re. It's always back by that distributor where it gets gummed up. be blowing that crap all over my Torola so he was sitting pretty over there I owe you a detail yeah there's that guy right in the comes with that big yellow what's his name oh Dave's yeah I'll take it over to Dave's I'll buy you one there we go <laughs> she looks like she had some small engine repair going on at one point or something did I think he's gonna whoop, line her up a little better I've never uh I don't think I've ever watched a rollback do rollback things she'll make it on there or she won't you need to run that winch out. Yeah, give me a All right, boys. That's what you hold a truck on with? And did we're you, gonna we're gonna have to talk about guy, this. When we left Taco Boy, a guy with an old Mustang, he had four of these on each four corners of like On that Mustang? <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even notice I didn't want that. To get too close. Well, boy, ain't that something. Let me hit the RPM on this. We'll get a little more home. Going for a high-speed tug job. I need one of these. Oh, best thing I ever did. Ever. I, I, I don't know what I did the previous three years. Worked way too hard. That's what I did. 
You know what that looks like to me? Another one saved. How freaking cool is that? We need a rollback, guys. Well, you ain't laying in grass, but is that aluminum nice and toasty for it's, you or what? I can feel it's starting to get pretty hot. Had to rehook the chains. We'll get it here one of these one of these tries. Yeah, you ain't talking sweet to it. I ain't heard you say come on baby once. Alright, baby. There we go. She'll go now. Let's let's get a little there. Oh see? <laughs> see? I may not know how to use a rollback, but I know how to make old junk happy. You gotta rub on it and talk to it. And that <laughs> that did not sound good. That did not sound good. <laughs> Biggest thing here is just try to make sure they got even slack. So I yeah. down here and give them a little yee and see how they are. Tighter and Dick's hat being right there. We'll give the doors a strap and the hood a strap just for safety. Safety first. We don't need to be going down I 40 and have the door waving to us. About to say, damn, careful arms, you'll bust that strap. Get the hood ratchet strap down. I feel lazy just watching, so I gotta do something. That's all I'm gonna get. Put that butt cheek into it. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid. <laughs> I'll be shooting pellets everywhere. All right, so with uh, Zach all loaded up with his find of the century there, we can kind of start eyeing around here. And I noticed that one, Datsun, but we got another one right here. And she was the yellow color, which is my favorite, one of my favorite colors on them. Uh, she did catch some of the fire, it looks like. The cab forwards burn up pretty good. Uh, but you still got a little bit of yellow paint left on the bed sides. Ain't much work left on her besides probably the tailgate. Make a cool wall hanger anyhow. So you got all kinds of goodies in the back. Quality, top quality grease gun right there. Yeah, I didn't I didn't figure the quick touch microwave was gonna work for us. Oh, there's an old Chevy cab back in those trees, but it's just a cab. It look like there's a bed or we'd make our way through it to check it out. And this thing got plum burn up. I mean, there ain't nothing left besides some corn cans. Yeah, she was in bad shape before the fire. She's certainly not in better shape now. There's all kinds of stuff out here that I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I odd, don't either. Odd, oddball stuff. There are definitely some can recyclers. Every one of them's plumb full of cans. Campus Patrol on the trunk of this thing. It was a good yellow color too. But uh, look, you see where the fire melted out the lead from the factory bodywork. Hey yo, now here's what we're talking about. Will she run? Oh yeah, she's got the little four banger that'll play nice. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think you get as lucky as we did twice. Look at the old fender repairs on this thing. Gobbled up bo booger wheels that cracked out. Uh, but it is a little pickup truck cab. A little rust in the cab corners. Hmm. She is the big truck. Look at them leaf springs on the back. Holy Golly. cow. That's a leaf spring pack. That's some type of caddy. And then a Buick right here. Uh, I don't know. Early 60s. Got the fender vents I can see. Fairly complete looking car. I think it's a four door. Kind of sucks some of the stuff so buried up in here. A little Studi Baker. Uh, lots of Studi Bakers around here. I noticed just over there, even when we're loading that truck, you can see them quite a bit of everywhere. What in the hell is this? That thing is wild looking. Another Studi Baker. Ooh. Got a tag from 78 on it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Little wagon action. There's another couple old cows off something mm -hmm. i'm sure mortsky could tell y'all yeah, what yeah, those are from mortsky's like oh you see this hole here that means it was made in 28 <laughs> if it had a hole here it'd been made in 27 <laughs> you didn't know that you dumbass yeah, you kidding me you call yourself a car guy and you don't know every yeah. <laughs> she's a uh, pretty complete We're though small, i mean how are the rockers on that thing? trim's kind of dangling off of it but it's the right color okay i've been trying to find something this color uh i don't know why i kind of like that okra mustard yellow whatever you want to call it Little humdinger here or there. Is it full of crap? Plum full of crap? The back's definitely plum full of crap. 
Inside is definitely, I see rolls of carpet. That's good. Dodge, dark, convertible. GT, got the GT. Hmm. I'm not a, you can see it's got the slant six in it. You can see it leaning over right there. I'm not a Mopar guy, so I don't know anything about them. Old dash right there, just chilling on the ground. Bell housing, transmission. Another pile of steelies. They had to have all the steel wheels out here. Good baker, bigger truck. Killer grill guard. How's that get plumb burn up and then a Volkswagen's next door and don't get touched? Yeah, maybe it did get touched a little bit. Hey, 63 Impala four door unit. She is definitely RUFF. She's a little rough, uh, but it is an Impala. We're gonna assume she had air conditioning since the compressor's in the trunk. That looks oily. They may have, uh, someone may have recently pulled that off there. Oh shit. <laughs> you get a thorny one. Hey yo. I knew there was a car in here somewhere. Looks fairly complete. Rear end may be missing on this one. Uh, I guess it's missing whatever hood trim it did have, but that big old front bumper and grill still there. I'm gonna change your name to Brush Hog more mopar and then right here we've got the custom chop top <laughs> got the slam down roof on it boy there's a lot of stuff out here but a lot of it's in pretty bad shape unfortunately that thorn about hit me in a place if you know what i mean where i was about to be in bad shape international here uh, thorns everywhere not the greatest shape so i don't think we'll be missing much by not climbing through this crap all up in there now that one right there i recognize it it ran when parked that's that guy on facebook <laughs> yeah i know what i have <laughs> maybe a thorny dog too man we can't get to none of this stuff come back out here in the winter time yeah, yeah. thorny mess right next to the shitter yeah. too <laughs> <laughs> oh dual shitters we yeah, can run yeah. duels oh so there is a whole pickup here now i've seen this from the other side but i could just see the front end early 61 ish bedside has one hell of a humdinger on it though, so <laughs> it's in bad room? shape capri what the hell's a capri capri sun like the cute little drink that's this thing it is uh probably the most complete thing we've come across so far though she's quite roomy <laughs> as you can tell a nice little manual transmission. Uh, guys, I don't even know if I've ever heard the name Capri, to be honest with you. A Ford or a Mercury, 72 Ford Capri 2000. Huh. I, I knew they made the old, I thought they made like a Capri in the 50s. I didn't know they carried them this long. <laughs> oh, there's the old powerhouse right there. Air conditioning, that way you lose half of your 20 horsepower. What year did it say it could be? Se or, 70 to 74 probably. Or, or it looked like the 70s. same lines. Huh interesting did not know they carried them that long <laughs> lancer look at this goofy looking kind of uh, i say goofy guys usually if i say something's goofy i like it because y'all know i like my kind of goofy stuff that's got a trim that runs down the side another trim that comes from the windshield up the door and then it's got that body line that swoops up it's goofy looking but it's kind of cool got the mirrors up on the fender and more studebakers everything around here in tip-top shape is a studebaker Studebaker front end right there. Now over here don't look so burnt up, so that's a good thing. Dang. I think we got an old Mercedes back here in the corner. Yep, sure is. That grill's just a shining. It's in bad shape, but I love a cool old Mercedes. Finding an old Mercedes that we can afford and make cool for cheap is a kind of bucket list car for me for some reason. Uh, I don't care that it stays Mercedes. It ain't going to be like a restoration. We can throw a small block Chevy in it for all I care. Uh, I just want that fancy, bougie body. Opal, Opal Cadet. Now, I don't think I'm in the market for one of these. <laughs> <laughs> they use good body filler because the fire didn't take that off. Top quality. Look at the old sickle here. Flathead. Oh, we got some mini truck action. Oh, old school Datsun. So 520 or 521 body style. Plum whammy in the front. Front has had and seen better days. But if that wasn't enough, don't worry. The fire took out the ass end of it. Looks like she was painted about 300 different times because that looks like house paint. You can see how it's brushed or rolled on. What in the tri rib? Check that out right there. That's the find of the junkyard so far. We got a, a, a Craig over there from Wartsky. That's his favorite. 
but I love these things. Cool Buick right here, pretty decent shape. Got the visor on her, she's a four door. And then something that the Buick probably accidentally pooped out, uh, whatever this little thing is. Old Olds has seen better days. Here's you another third. You don't want this one? Well, I'm trying, we're slowly chipping away. This is the, probably next in line. Oh yeah, she's pretty decent shape. Not bad. Now someone, if someone want to build the patina shop truck, it looked good with the door logo on it, slammed down on some steelies, white walls. Oh, that door's a little rough there. Not looking as good as the. Yeah, this is what I was working my way back to see. Uh, this duty, but it's one of the ones that's got the weird back glass full wrap around. And there's my color I've been searching for again. <laughs> I had all the yellow stuff out here. She's not in the best shape. She's not in the worst shape. I can't imagine these things are just everywhere though. So probably slim pickings when it comes to them. Uh, there's Slick Fitty, some Chevrolet Love competition next door. It is full patinered. Dang, it sucks the fire got it because the bottom of it's all pretty solid actually. Don't look like it was too beat up or anything. I say that as a hoods collapsed in and rusted out. <laughs> Hood's a little toasty. Another Dodge Dart. A uh, handful of Mopars out here as well. Dang, 327 car right there, Impala. Uh, four door, but not a bad looking car. I need that air breather. Shoot, right next door we got the Impala wagon. That's even better, it's got the roof rack on it. Not a bad look to it. It's got the patina look going on. And all the tail lights are back there back bumper looks decent shape yeah that thing right there is pretty sweet you gonna try to get this one yeah, yeah look, honestly the path to freedom there doesn't look awful not not too bad so it got the bed on it yep yeah yeah it does two long bed let's see she's three on the tree right next door this is what we used to have right here a little datsun wagon she's got the roof rack she's a 610 i think ours was a 710 so does the 610 mean it's older i don't i think so interior is plum trashed she'd make a four-wheel drive anyhow this is one too that i have my eyes on but it's always how can we get it out because there's another one over there these old fridge ford fridge trucks uh, 57 to 60 there's a handful of them out here there's one down there that's really cooked up i don't know that one may be the pick of the junkyard right there she's put in fab shop blue that thing would probably sell for three times with the rest of them yeah something on the see a so someone had them some old wagons because right here we got another Datsun wagon. Check this out. She's red. She's a 710. So that's what we had was a 710 model. And what's the chances I find another one of these things in a salvage yard? Looks to be in pretty good shape. She's definitely not as in good shape as Aunt Dorothy was because that thing was freaking cherry. It's automatic too. So these things must have been pr pretty popular to leave automatic. She's got the roof rack. Looks like she's got every hubcap on her on this side. And I wish I would have never even sold our wagon. Uh, I actually found out who has it. And I sent them a message letting them know if they ever want to sell it to get a hold of me first. This one's got the hubcaps on it all the way. Hmm. She, she's in pretty good shape. I got my eye on you. God dang. <laughs> They're, they're lucky the fire didn't make it to this one. <laughs> yeah. Gee, how, how did it get burning so hot out here? No idea. She burned for 40 days and 40 <laughs> nights. Look. What, what we got a date on this thing? Unopened. Christmas, 1987. Well, look at that. Nearby ship reports attack. Shit was hitting the fan. <laughs> Dude, this wagon is pretty good. I know you don't do these little things, but this is pretty good, ain't it? Not, yes, not bad. Yeah. By far the most, I think the most paint on a vehicle out here. That's ends by Michael. When was she last tagged? Uh, 87. Right there, I can see it. And then right next door, we got another one. But what is this? A Toyota or a... Who knows? I don't... What the hell does that right there mean? Corolla wagon? You got the 20R motor, I see. So it's got a 20R? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a little Toyota. Corolla wagon right here. We could buy this, pull the body off the tow roller, just throw that cradle front wheel drive up underneath here besides getting to pick over a new spot because you never know what you're going to find when you go to a place guys uh getting to see that little red wagon right there kind of made this trip worth it for me not that i just love those things but like y'all go how do you find clean stuff like that in salvage yards i don't know guys they just exist sometimes it looks like a short bed yeah 
How did some of this get burnt up? Some of it didn't. They must have been in here fighting the fire as That's they went. Guess, yeah, this had to be near the line because that thing's plumb done for. It's just weird, guys. It's so patchy. Some stuff been right next door. Maybe maybe crap's been moved around since then. I doubt it. Well, when we get down there and talk to Melba, she'll give us the scoop. Got a Ford shoe box right here. Yeah, I did some work on one of them one time. Don't miss it. <laughs> uh, little Mazda B2200. Too new for me. I know some of y'all want to know when I'm going to work on newer mini trucks. Probably never, guys. I kind of draw the line around 80s. Uh, we got another wagon right here. What is this one? All these wagons are a little different. We got another Corolla wagon. So he's got the trim down the side and everything. Oh, baby. What a trooper. See, you know what? Since it's there, why, why don't we? Oh, she wants to run. Just ask that espresso oil right there. Full of thorns like always. Corolla Deluxe. Also full of newspapers. Newspaper factory, man. What are we doing? I'll have to ask about the newspaper recycling business. Look at the little vents for the cow that probably sucked air into there. It's got the roof rack on it, too. I got some stuff in here that I ain't even going to try to push my way through unless I just see something that really catches my eye. My eyes ain't working very good today, so ain't nothing catching my eye in there worth going after. Had it been a damn Jaguar or something. She don't open worth a damn, does she? <laughs> hey, the old 223 probably. Straight six, no carburetor required. <laughs> She's a step side. That makes her a little different than the rest of them. Next door, we got the Chevrolet Delray, a 58 model, four door. Not a bad looking car. It's got the right color choices on it. Puddin's Fab Shop blue, little tanner, little white. Uh, trimming everything's on it too. Those cars have really started bringing some money. I mean, they've always been up there on money, but here recently, man, 58 Chevrolet anything's whoop, way up there. Got another Studebaker pick em up truck. What type of Cadillac behind that, I see. Yeah, I didn't even see it. <laughs> it's the big mama, ton and a half or so. 48 or a little newer-ish. Another one of the Chevrolet wagons. This one is a, not as nice of shape. That quarter was plumb beat up. They had some pretty cool wagons out here, or quite a bit of wagons anyhow. No one back in the day wanted wagons, and now they're hotter and... Uh, a lot of other stuff out there. What the hell is that? Fiat. Oh. Or I think, yeah. yeah that little Fiat. <laughs> little clown car is what that is. Classic house paint. Just on everything in Oklahoma. More Studies. Another Corolla. A lot of little foreign stuff out here. Kind of surprised to see that. Little Plymouth and some Puddin's Fab Shop Blue four door v8 truck right here 50 i don't know four or five ish ford guys will know i don't know and we got another one of the old school studebakers right there top dollar alley over here by the by the road front we got the country sedan in case you want to take the kiddos to the grand canyon another little fiat convertible and then the old third early chevy's two-door hard top that hard top ain't doing too good though. Speaking of tops not doing too good, look at the van in the back. That's a full convertible job right there. Another little Fiat, a four door one. That thing ain't big enough to have four doors. You ain't gonna fit four people in there. More newspapers, what the hell? When we first pulled in here, this was the first little uh, Corolla I seen. Is this a Corolla? Make me lie again. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm getting better at this. Uh, and I was like, we'll body swap that. Put it on something four wheel drive, but I didn't know I had a just a field full of choosings. I got something in my foot and bending over don't feel good. I'm gonna shoot something out my hiney. There we go, a little Carmagia. She's in the mustard yellow color a little bit. Pretty complete looking. She's had a few repaints, uh, but that's pretty good for out here. Well, we got something somewhat newer out here. I didn't think we were going to see anything new. Here's an older Audi two-door. That's got to be... Oh, yeah? I don't think I've ever found an old-school Audi anywhere. You know, muscle car guys will like this. The old Plymouth right here. She's got the white stripe that runs down and up. Uh, she is rat-nested out, though. 
It's always funny when you see them big old V8 engines and then that little bitty carburetor on them. Looks like a carburetor that comes on a little Datsun. Got a nice creeper van right here. I like the old school vans. Oh, it had a lace paint job at one point. Y'all see that? You damn right. No surprise there. If you don't like the way I drive, stay off the sidewalk, baby. Yep, he was definitely a creeper. Last tagged in 85. Uh, this thing is pretty awesome. Now this Studebaker looks pretty good. I like the color on it. Yeah, I guess it is a little rusted and... Probably the cattle hauler. I think that's just the cattle cages they throw on there. Throw a couple of Angus bulls in there and run them to market. We got the mullet machine over there. Uh, orange looking ranchero. Uh, what else we got around here? We got the Ferd. She's the Wagon Master edition. That thing looks like it's been Johnny Cash though, one piece at a time. Uh, what the hell is this thing? I don't know what that is. She's up in the woods. You know, I remember riding in this thing as a kid. We had one of these. You know, custom body work and a sweet old camper on it. And a couple more wagons here. A little dart wagon, I think. Boy, we're up in it now, aren't we? <laughs> I think we've seen most of what's out here. So well, now we gotta out figure out how to get out of it. Oh, I should know better. Studebaker. Yeah. Yep. Old school Studebaker. Fancy back yeah. in the day. An old trim. There's Studebaker badge. Still got the grill in it. Pretty cool car. Boy, wasn't the little buggy wagon that someone built here. Look at that little intake set up uh, with them. Little dual carburetors. That is neater than hell. Oh my gosh, look at that little tiny generator on there. We ain't gonna talk about that cutest little fan I ever have seen. And then, of course, Morsky likes his uh, flexi hoses there. What is that? Opal? Is that what that intake says? Who recognizes that? Now, I definitely don't know any motorcycle stuff, but whatever that is. And we got another one right there leaning next to that tree. You don't hardly see me on two wheels. I'm scared of anything with two wheels. Another wagon. A burnt newspaper. This one was last tagged in 91. That's when I was uh, first on the road. Trying to find our way out of here. Uh, I think, yeah, there's the Alice, so we're close to our path. Little cadet. Look at that lightning bolt with the circle. That's a pretty cool emblem. A two-door wagon. I don't even know who made the cadet. I'm getting to see all kinds of stuff I ain't ever seen before. This uh, big old hat of mine is not the best thing to bring for uh, snipering yourself through some trees. And look at the chrome head job or header right there. Woo! We made it. Oh, baby. Now, this right here is exactly what we're talking about. Something like this is exactly what I'd love to find. I, I like how I say that as I just found one. <laughs> as we found one. But that right there, guy slammed on steelies with white walls. So, the lady who owned that last property, she owns this one as well. So, we uh, teleported. We're at a new location. No fire came through here, did it? <laughs> I don't think so. Everything looks pretty green. A lot of good color. Uh, uh, no thorns, so that's an upgrade. A couple old bikes we could cruise around, maybe. Oh, look at that I unit right there. Up a few of these old mowers. I don't know why, but I just think these are cool as hell. That that sucker is rear wheel wheel steer. Look, the front's drive, and it's got rear steer. I'm sure someone's seen one of those before. Chime in if you know some about them, because I ain't ever seen nothing like that. Little Volkswagen unit, little bug. Found a bug in the woods, no surprise there. I found all kinds of bugs crawling on me as I got in the Torola earlier. And got a little convertible action again. Check out this Fairlane, Putin's Fab Shop Blue. Two door hard top. Got a good look to it, all the trim on it. Skyliner. So he managed to buy one, but the lady wants to sell everything as a whole. And uh, the price is unob unobtainium. Uh, it's just too much. Uh, even if I wanted to swing it, I couldn't. But uh, I don't know, you know. They got her to sell one, so if we find the right deal, we sweet talk her just right, we may be able to get ourselves something else. Got the two, oh shoot, found a hole right there. That'll twist an ankle. Oh, yeah, that goes good with the sore butt cheek. Uh, hood is collapsed. Windshield's multi-pieces. Old Chevrolet, she's a little voluptuous. The uh, Fleet Master two door. Got the Invisa engine in her. Red Flintstone special. Chrome's peeling off. Don't worry about that, it'll buff out. Speaking of buff out, <laughs> that thing's rough. What is this thing? Four zero what? It's missing an emblem. 
Well, I don't see a badge on it anywhere. It's got something in the grill up here. I just can't tell what it is. Hard to see because it's all... Last tagged in 1969. It looks like it's got like a lion kind of thing in there. Another little import wagon head here. She's got rust in the roof pretty bad though. Watch out, Subaru people. What we got there? A little opal? Opal? Audi. Yeah. That's the second one of those we found in the last, I don't know, month or so. And then another old school Audi. That thing's kind of cool too. A little Ford. Is that thing two-tone or is it dirty? I can't tell. Two-tone. Is it two-tone? Maybe. A green over light green or green over white? You get the green on and green though. Yeah. Not bad looking pickup truck. There you go. We got to get all you mullet guys happy. Uh, got to check out the Firebird. Well, we got the Firebird next to the Thunderbird, don't we? Yeah, 55 four-door. Uh, looks fairly complete, missing a window. 265, plum covered and everything. Is that other side pretty straight? Yeah, this would be. Huh. You can just see where Mother Nature's grown around and over it. And... Yeah, pretty good car sitting here. Then we got another Mercedes, I think. That's what that looks like to me. Uh-huh. Yep, I see the hubcap. I love these damn things. So we found a, I found a black one of these, and it is on my list of ones to get. Uh, this one looks cool too. Straight six with dual carburetors. Yeah, I got one open. I don't remember how. That one looks to be in pretty good shape too. I'm going to start calling you weed whacker. You don't quit it. Someone took a little bit of trim and fenders. This thing looked pretty nice. Yeah another blue little wagon here somehow how do you knock that in somehow has to hit that just right to whoop, drop that down like that uh i don't even know what this is an x19 whatever that means dang another one of them mercedes i don't know why i like these cars guys i just do tell me you can't picture me in bibs going down the highway something like that open header small block chevy oh i think pot county would love it and if they don't love it, at least I would. Shoot, this one's red edition. Bad. You can get these suckers in whatever color you want them here. <laughs> Let's see. No, I'm not driving her home. All of them's missing the emblem. Her two-door hard top. She's got all the trim, including the piece going down the trunk. Uh, last tag, 62. What you think about that right there? Yeah, the cars here are definitely a little better than the other place, I'd say. But the real question is, would you pay a million bucks? Is that what she wants for the whole place, for everything? Yep, two properties. All the houses, cars? All this. One million dollars cash. Looks like a million bucks to me, I guess. In 30 years. Uh, four door. Man, these things over here. Like all the trim on that mm -hmm. one again. We got another four, or yeah, another four door piece of trim fell off of it but it's still there dd speed shop show you what to do with that you just fill her full of bondo and patina matcher send her down the road cool little buick right here Two door. and that's what she'd look like with air ride sitting on the ground because <laughs> that's sunk down that low that's what's kind she's of nice. got she's got all the two-door hard tops it's kind of nice about the junkyard cars is they give you a vision of what they would look like yeah, it's kind of like a free mock-up <laughs> yeah it gives you a vision of here we go okay two-door fair lane another big old land yacht Gotta have your captain's hat to drive these rigs. Pretty complete looking truck on this side. Oh, she's got the big old V6 in her. Yeah, look at this unit right here. You know she's dra drug a thing or two around here. I don't think I've ever seen so much Puddin's Fab Shop Blue in one. Well, I guess this is two locations, but one owner. That ain't a Dodge, that's a Dodge. Look at that red. Oh, yeah. Yep, motor's there. Oh, plugs are... Oh, they're just broke. I thought they were hanging out of it. But either way, she's probably locked up. These things got some pretty cool body lines on them, actually. Cool back glass, got the little deflectors. These are pretty cool little wagons. I've never looked at one of these before. Valiant, Valiant, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't claim to be good at a lot of stuff, but one thing I can tell you I'm definitely bad at is proper pronunciation and situations. We don't come across a lot of Mustangs in our travels. This is a V8 car, 289, early 50 Chevy four door. There's like some spark plug parts and boxes. That's usually my cue. If somebody worked on it and said, ah, we're good. Yep. A little Toyota pick em up truck. They got the front plum whammied. We don't come across a lot of little Toyota mini trucks neither. This is a field of the land yachts right here. Short best stepside. 
short beds to, yeah all you gotta do is bolt the front clip back on now it looks like it opens back up that way if we sweep up this way Go here and maybe back to there. it'd be like tying a chute just do the loop swoop and pull <laughs> and we'll find them all i always kind of like these things with that little back glass or side glass i mean that slants forward i almost bought one of them about eight years ago here's the flathead we found it turns over yeah big old chrysler two-door with the fins on it was it colored was it red I guess not. it was I red it was bake light or something transparent plastic another chevrolet pretty well all there complete yeah, front the... clip you need that front clip yeah i've been drilling over that for a year i got that picture and i just look go back and look at it and of course that goes part of the million dollar deal so that'll sit here until this tree probably falls on it and that's uh that's a wrap on that that camper back there on that bed is sweet oh i love the any of the 60s vans i don't think dodge chevy or ford was doing it wrong i think they all got cool licks to them yeah. this one is this one's pretty sweet i mean it sucks the body filler and old body work but the color on it and everything it could be a pretty bitching little wagon or van i mean not wagon i'm so used to seeing wagons today she comes with a lot of free parts every free part you could dream of these econo lines they're really cool and this one's the right color of course but yeah you can just tell someone here let me hop in there and give a visualization of what this probably looks like they definitely lost the knee don't get stuck i'll bring that tow roller back here and pull you out yeah here we go oh, little, little, watch out for them saw briars there they'll get you oh, 73 uh, back in the kansas farm and then we came to oklahoma by 80. pretty sweet tailgates in the back of it no nope, that's the fender for the front found some stuff from the i don't know 80s early 80s ish pretty good amount of old stuff here of course my favorite so far out of all of them at the other place the red wagon for sure a little datsun wagon and then here the mercedes well the very first one that older mercedes is my favorite than them other ones uh they're top contenders yeah speaking of the old dd speed shop now they're all four doors but he'd probably be having fun out here looking these things over it's been rumored and i've heard on his belly he got tattooed try five for life oh look at that fred jones got the old fred jones emblem on it that's pretty cool right there man black patina when that primer and rust is coming through that's just a sweet look two-door hard top 64 impala she's got the doors uh, she ain't got a front clip on her honestly the body don't look that bad of course they make everything for those uh yeah this side's not as pretty looking but rockers actually look solid I mean. i'm gonna say it, it could definitely be built i would like to find one in better shape than this we're gonna assume she needs some floors and everything else early chevy wagon i was wanting to run some of these old trim on some of my old trucks and see how they look now that datsun can have all the green paint at once on it but it can't hide from me over here look at that 620 we just found man i love this color on them she's a little rough not the straightest body get a free few printers yeah red wasp about to get these hands this thing's pretty rough roof's knocked in kind of rusted out but i mean it's got a cool cool little look to it definitely oh hood's rusted out holy cow hood's rusted out everywhere look at that that's and king finds another well zachary time to deliver your newspapers hello as if i need more junk bikes i have a stack of them behind my house doing nothing i don't know if this is a million bucks but looks like a million bucks to me vintage bikes in the back of the datsun pulling out of here that would look all right another toyota we just had them all she had them all front wheel drive subaru king cab datsun front end's been beat to hell ranchero with the little topper on it that's what i'm talking about that thing needs a four-wheel drive chassis underneath it all right there would be the ultimate redneck machine looks like we got another studi baker i apologize some of this is hard to see i didn't have enough time to mow before we got here you know look at the four-wheel drive subaru wagon taking something like this and lift it a little bit put some mud tires on it i call that a winner now, i know some of you jeep guys have been feeling left out so here you go i don't know nothing about them so i don't have any idea what we're looking at but yeah down here's a little not awful. no that 
you don't got to replace all that. A couple patches would have that happy. She definitely liked her Fords and her foreign stuff. And uh, her blue, man. Just blue stuff everywhere. This one looks pretty complete, too. Got all the caps on it. Got a frame filter in the front, I see. And, yep, front end's all there and everything. That's a good-looking car. Little Toyota truck, too new for me. Got the 68 C10 long bed. So it's got the long straight six. This sucker would run. You drive it home today, Zach. Let's do it. Be big daddy pimping in that old minivan. Dang, had the sport edition Durango. 5.9 RT, baby, with the fancy wheels. I think somebody's got the kayak. <laughs> you boys ain't ever been to Oklahoma? Longhorn, there's a couple, there's a spendy one. Someone drove this one here yeah, and parked yeah, it. That. I've seen that look before. <laughs> I mean, all these need a little work on them, but they're they're, bad. they are not bad. It's got this one actually has glass. It's got the F250 here with the carburetor missing. Somebody it, worked on it's got a sync QR code on that. That's got to be. Oh damn, QR code! <laughs> I don't even know how to use those, <laughs> but it had the chrome valve cov covers and the breather. That's the worst thing you can do. Leave the hood up and then walk away. You'd think someone just hopped off the road, ran over here, stole a carburetor, and then hightailed it back. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. A lot of times the badging and the radiators. It's got an old brass radiator, something worth some money. Hi hydraulic rim. All right. But over here, we're going manual, baby. You better get to spinning. God, look at those gears. Could you imagine just having to get that up on there? You, so you, you accidentally knocked that off there? <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Oh shit, she was tagged in uh, 18. Oh, yeah, some this is somebody's been messing with this or trying to. Two tons, golly. Jacob's engine brakes. This sucker was equipped. You can tell she was once a fine machine. Got her valve block, got a reservoir tank, a little hydraulic pump. She used to tow them all big or small, guaranteed. And on Fourth of July, they were back here shooting some Texas titty twisters. Got some old fireworks. There's a cap on the running board. She told me they put it up here because the springs were out, but every time I look at the springs, they're in. Got a speed hole in the running board and door, but careful. What's cool about these old boards is there's always a little toolbox in there. Just a little tray to sit your stuff in. Yes, sir. You damn right. Got the V8 Claddy, one bad daddy. This is a quarter million of the price right here. <laughs> what am I going to offer? 250,000, 200,000? Yeah, at least I got one. If I don't make another deal, at least we got one. Because originally... It was, was none. Yeah, this was going to be a none deal. Hardball none deal. Another Ford had popped on. Carburetor's still on this one. She did have the air conditioning as well. Not not too shabby. Uh, a little humdinger down on the bottom of that bedside. But the grill's all in it. Pretty good shape. Bumper's nice and straight. This side's nice and straight. I think that's a pretty good looking pickup. She's a manual, so you got to be a man to drive this rig. Comes with some barbecue sauce. <laughs> that way on way at home, you stop by the McDonald's and get them nugs. It. How's it going? Good. Every time I drive by here, I look at the car right there. You know who owns it? She just wants to sell everything really? as a whole. Oh, man. So. Two properties, everything on it for a million bucks. You got a million bucks? <laughs> yes. uh, you, you had a million bucks you probably wouldn't be eyeing that car huh right <laughs> uh, I, i've got a 1981 volkswagen rabbit oh cool I restored a diesel yeah and i want to restore another one and i've had my eye on that one every time i drive by and guys i think we've just about looped through we're back up at the front where we kind of started here we may have missed one or two here or there but overall i think we got the best eyes we could get on some of the stuff here. Some of it's just impossible to see. Have a winter visit, 2.0. Yeah, come back in the winter time or maybe when I can crawl over something and not be using this gobble butt cheek of mine. All right, not a bad little adventure today. Uh, honestly, I should have kept my sore butt at the house and let it heal up. It is not feeling the greatest. Uh, but at the same time, it was cool to finally get to meet Zach. Uh, I'm sure me and him will be chit chatting more it's always good to network guys he he knows the kind of stuff i look for i know the kind of stuff he looks for so you know and we kind of dabble in different things so that gets an extra set of eyes out there for him extra set of eyes out there for me it's always better to have like four eyes instead of two 
I've already got four eyes. Uh, I talked with the lady a little bit, and guys, I don't think we'll probably be able to buy anything from out there. She kept telling me to make offers, but I heard some of the offers that Zach did, and I think he was being more than above fair. And I'm even all about being more than above fair, guys. If, if something's what I want, and uh, I don't try to just low ball or, you know, kick someone in the nuts on their pricing. However, uh, I just can't be plum overpaying for stuff too. And I, I have, I've overpaid for stuff before. Uh, years ago for the travel all, I overpaid for it. I think I paid probably uh, 1200 too much for that thing, but I wanted it. It was exactly what I wanted. It was the perfect look like I wanted. So I will overpay for something I plan to build, keep, ain't gonna get rid of or at least i'm gonna really enjoy it before not a quick flip type thing which y'all ain't never seen me quick flip nothing so i don't know why you'd think i would uh but the only thing out there i really wanted that i'd be willing to like pay some money for would be that really old mercedes at the second place we went to and she said on that one absolutely not not even considering sell it uh selling it ain't for sale whatever now the other mercedes that i like she said she'd offer on them but i she she told me to look on ebay for pricing well ebay's top dollar for pricing and i can't tell you what a bit of the undersides of those cars look like or anything about them because they're so far down in the ground we'd have to spend a day out there getting them out of the ground just to assess them to then put in an offer that I don't think she would take anyhow, and it would be a wasted day. So that's it for this. Uh, Zach, he's on the Instagrammer. I'm gonna put his little thing down here so you can check him out if you want. He's always dragging stuff in. Uh, I'm glad I finally got to link up with him, and I should've kept my butt home. My butt hurts, but it is always fun to get out and look, especially at a new place where I ain't been to or seen any of that stuff before. Definitely found more old foreign stuff than I expected to find. So that was kind of a surprise of the day. And I am ready to go get some ice on this cheek. And next week, hopefully cheek will be healed up. And we will be getting this thing finally fired up because we are this close. And hopefully we'll be taking it for hot laps down back before you know it. Uh, no, we probably won't get too buck nasty till we get exhausted. We'll figure it out, okay? I better just get back to work on it before I start planning too much. I'm on the Instagrammer, I'm on the Patreon, uh, puddingsfabshop.com for that good quality merchandise. We appreciate everyone's support. I appreciate y'all being patient with me and uh, watching time and time and time and time again. Guys, I'm hot. Uh, anyhow, I'll see you guys next time. Do not forget, sitting on your ass, won't finish your project. However, sometimes, you got to sit on half your ass with the other side propped up with the ice pack on it and it can heal up and then with a healed ass you can finish your project.